Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and I've got a special treat for you guys. Today I'm going to be showing you the Eclipse ROM by Nitroglycerin33. I've been watching this guy's development on the Droid X2, and uh, patiently awaiting his release for the Droid Bionic, and it's finally come. He actually released it about a week ago, but I've just now gotten some time to go ahead and do the quick overview of the ROM. This thing is themed to the max. It has a cyan blue type theme. It comes with his custom wallpaper app and some other goodies that we'll get into. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the quick overview. So right off the bat, you'll see that it comes with the AOSP lock screen. And you'll see what I'm talking about when I say that it's themed blue and the notification bar. When you drop it down here, you'll see that it's also themed and it comes with the toggle buttons here so you can toggle your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, your sound, your screen brightness, your 3G connection, and uh, your refresh. You can clear everything up top here and that also closes out the notification bar. Uh, you'll notice that even your 3G and your 4G icon there is changed a little bit in theme. Uh, your Google search bar is themed ice cream sandwich as well as the Launcher 2. Uh, this is an AOSP Launcher 2 that has been customized by KJR31 and the Liberty team. And your applications here, um, a lot of these are ice cream sandwich themed as well. And uh, you also notice there in the top there that uh, that's been modded for the 1% increments. So if you long press here, you can go to Wallpapers and Eclipse Wallpapers to bring up his custom set of wallpapers here. And there's plenty of good ones to choose from. It comes with this wallpaper. I kind of like the blue theme, and so I chose to go with this wallpaper. And also, if you click to add a widget, it comes with a customized analog ice cream sandwich style clock as you'll see and like I said most of the icons are also ice cream sandwich theme like your browser and your dialer your text messaging your camera and so forth and so on your contacts these are all themed uh, ice cream sandwich style if you go into your settings you will find the eclipse parts and he's still working on this there's not a ton here you have application settings you can go in there and tweak your application settings and the animations, this is like your transition animations, how things fly in and out. Uh, you can also uh, do your window animations, the speed of those, uh, haptic feedback if you want it to rumble whenever you press uh, a button on the keyboard, so forth and so on. Several things in there to customize. Terminal emulator is included, as well as the performance manager. Uh, you can just customize your applications in the performance manager. And Moto Print is the wireless Motorola printer. Uh, you will notice that this thing has been totally de bloated. You don't have any of your Verizon crudware on there. Most of the blur elements have also been removed here. Uh, I can't even see anything that was left. Maybe the camera and camcorder are still blur, uh, but everything else in here is uh, pretty much AOSP. So this is very easy to install. We'll jump into the installation instructions next. Uh, all you need is a rooted Droid Bionic. You'll need Bionic Bootstrap installed. I'll go ahead and install that now. So make sure that you install Bionic Bootstrap. If you had installed Bionic Safe Strap, you'll want to make sure to uninstall that first. Okay, so once that's installed, you'll go to Bootstrap Recovery and allow super user permission. Select OK and Reboot Recovery. I have to run through this installation quickly because my battery is about dead. I'm at 16%. Of course, you notice that that uh, ROM included all kinds of tweaks for performance, and you saw how fast it really was. And as far as battery, I had not used it for very long, uh, but in my experience, it was at least as good as stock battery. 
if not a little better. So to install this, you'll go to Wipe Data Factory Reset, select that. We're going up and down with the volume, selecting with power, going back with the back button. And then you'll go to Delete All User Data, select that. I'm not going to now since it's already installed. I'll just go back. Wipe Cache. Go down to Yes. Wipe Cache. And go back to Advanced. Go to Wipe Dalvik Cache and Wipe Dalvik Cache. Once you've done all of the above, go back to the main menu. From there, you'll choose Install Zip from SD Card. Select that and choose Zip from Internal SD Card. If you downloaded it directly to your phone, it'll be in your download folder. And you're looking for Bionic Eclipse version 1.1.1. Go ahead and select that and install. This one installed quickly. It only took about uh, four minutes to install. When it's finished, it'll say install from SD card complete. So at that point, you'll go back to reboot. And I'll show you guys real quickly the boot animation. It is Ice Cream Sandwich inspired uh, with a little Eclipse twist. I really love this ROM, and I will probably keep this on my phone for a couple of days until the next big thing comes out. Uh, I really am excited about what Nitroglycerin 33 is doing on the Bionic. Uh, his ROMs are always really sleek and sexy and uh, nice to look at. So there is your boot animation for Eclipse. Guys, head on over to DroidModerX.com for all the latest in ROMs, mods, and hacks. You can subscribe to this channel to stay updated. And also follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX with an E, not a 3. Thanks, guys, for watching.